I will ask the question first in English, then in German. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Herr Nefzer, you look very proud on the stage and you thank Germany. Can you tell us also about the contribution to your film that you did? And, and in Deutsch, we have very happy on the stage and Deutschland gedankt. Bitte erzählen Sie ein bisschen, was Sie für den Film geleistet haben und wie sich das anfühlt. In Deutsch oder in Englisch? First in German and then in English. Ja, das fühlt sich großartig an, fantastisch. Das ist ein super Moment in meinem Leben. Ich hätte nie gedacht, dass ich als, als deutscher Special Effects Supervisor das mal zum einen Oscar schaffe. Das ist, das ist unglaublich. Ich kann es immer noch nicht fassen. Und noch was über die Arbeit am Film sagen? Ja, also es war auch sehr viel äh, Wettergeschichten, also Atmosphäre, äh, Regen, <lacht> Nebel, Schneefall, viel mechanische Rigs, Flugrigs und ja, alles Mögliche an kleinen Effekten, kleines Lagerfeuer, also die komplette Bandbreite. Äh, die größte Geschichte war, dass die Schlussszene in einem Wasserbecken schwierige war, dass ähm, das eben sehr kurzfristig in Budapest gebaut wurde und wir die ganze Technik äh, bauen müsst, mussten in, in kürzester Zeit. So Blade Runner was such a seminal movie, such a visionary film and I know it was exciting to be able to work on this uh, reimagining of the, the, the tale or revisiting. But can you explain to us what it's like to actually be holding the Oscar right now for your work on this new version? Well, it's, uh, it's pretty much like uh, you dream, you, you start a, pro a project with the idea in your mind that, that you're lucky enough to get the sequel to the film that everyone loves. Mm -hmm. So you live for two years with everyone poking you in the chest and saying it better be good, right? And then, then you dream that it could be as good as you think it could be. And then ultimately, you're lucky enough through the talent, largely these guys behind me, to, to be able to really bring it, right? And you bring it, and for me at this point in my life, it's, it's sort of like this, mm. this incredible confluence of rivers, right? And um, I'm just, I'm overjoyed with happiness. I mean, just like, uh, I just can't tell you how happy I am. For Denis, for Ridley, for these guys, for the entire crew. I mean, it was a labor of love and we brought it every night until midnight or one or two in the morning, right? For like six and seven day weeks for a year and three quarters, right? So, but tonight it feels like pretty good. Mm -hmm. So as a way, as a follow-up to that question, um, mm -hmm. so how do you work both honoring the original, the, the original vision for which that you are extending and yet with this toolbox that has expanded since that was made? I know you did use a lot of miniatures, but just talk about you know, that original vision and look and this new toolbox you had that did not exist when the original came out. I want to say something really short and then I want these guys to talk. But I mean, like we, we knew what could be done, but consciously with Denis and everyone on the film, we reined the effects back in because we felt like too many films had been Blade Runner copies that just turned the excess knob up to like 13, right? So we just turned everything and like pulled it back and made it very analog and dirty and nothing like, like CG is shiny and clean, not in our movie, right? But I want these guys to talk, so you guys talk. Yeah, so like the, John, John pretty much covered it there in that like we tried to keep the cities as, as oppressive as possible. Like you never wanted to see like a pretty vista and like you never wanted any shot to, to like jump out as a, as a uh, visual effect. So like we, we worked really hard to make sure that we matched Roger Deakins' photography, you know, like the, the like focus and the, the, the like depth of field and like the, the overall color. So, you know, like we tried, we tried really hard to like try and keep it as realistic as possible without it jumping out of the movie. Re real and dirty. Real and dirty. Yeah. <laughs> well, for me, um, this movie was about art. It was a movie about making imagery that stood up to the first film. And we had that on our shoulders from the beginning. Uh, the first film made such a profound impact on commercials, films, Ridley's lighting, his production design, all those things were on our mind. We met after a full week of shooting 12-hour days every Saturday and Sunday and, and just discussed and kicked around ideas of how we could make things better. So 
as much as you want to hear about effects being new technology, this was really about how to do it right, how to diffuse the eye from thinking it was CG and making great art. And, and, and one of the things we did really was like we built as much set as we could and we had practical effects which are done by Gerd and his team which would lay down the foundation so things would be real and we'd build on top of it. Yeah, yeah. And Roger's, Roger's lighting, Dennis's production design, the concept artists that drew you know, all kinds of ideas and images was all part of the, the palette of how we got to where we got to. Um, first I'm gonna ask in German, then in English. Herr Nefzer, herzlichen Glückwunsch, hier bin ich. <laughs> Sie haben einen Oscar gewonnen, wahrscheinlich die größte Auszeichnung, die man in seiner Karriere bekommen kann. Wie wird diese Nacht gefeiert? How do you gonna celebrate maybe the biggest life of your career so far? Um, we don't know yet, but I think it's a, a in German. <laughs> uh, bin mir noch nicht ganz sicher, es ist das erste Mal, dass ich einen Oscar gewinne. Wahrscheinlich auch das letzte Mal und ich lasse es mal auf uns zukommen, aber ich denke, wir werden viel Spaß haben, ein bisschen was trinken und den Abend bis morgen früh ausklingen lassen. Er ist going to Arbeit on Monday. Ja, <laughs> ja. Yeah, yeah. I have to go back to work on, on, on Monday, so I fly back and um, go straight into a project on, on Tuesday. <laughs>